Today at Grace and St. Paul's Church on the fabulous Upper West Side of Manhattan on West 71st Street between Broadway and Columbus Avenue, we are watching a blindfold simultaneous chess event. Not the usual kind of one that we've seen thousands of times before. This one is simultaneous. While blindfold chess has been recommended in moderation by many sources as a method of increasing one's playing strength, simultaneous blindfold exhibitions were officially banned in 1930 in, the, in, the, in Soviet Russia as they were deemed to be a health hazard. Chess five master Darko Dmitrievich is playing simultaneously on 10 chess boards blindfolded. This is his 44th blindfold performance. At the peak of his powers at the age of 23, while serving in the military in the former Socialist Federative Republic of Yugoslavia in 1982, he played four blindfold events, 8, 20, 12, and 20 during 12 months of service. At that time, his performance in all four events was perfect, without any miscalculations. Personally, Darko likes to play under much more difficult rules involving chess clocks. But this type of event usually involves more people and organization and during the event. There have not been very many events like this in the history of chess. The most res impressive results in blindfold playing were Harry Nelson Pillsbury in 1990, who played 20 boards simultaneously in Philadelphia. Alexander Alekhine in 1935, playing 28 boards. Richard Reddy in 1925, playing 29 boards in Sao Paulo. Miguel Najdorf in 1943, playing in Rosario, Argentina, against 40 boards. Miguel Najdorf again in 1947 in Sao Paulo, playing 45. Janos Flesch in Budapest in 1960, played 52. And George Koltanowski in San Francisco in 1960, played 56. Unfortunately, blindfold chess will never have a world record holder or a correct world ranking list. Why? Simply, there are almost no recorded score sheets, no evidence of miscalculations or recalculations, and the average length of moves, total moves, board numbers should be over 30 for all games that are finished with the draw or with the performer losing. There are no pictures or photos, no notes, no books, no websites at all, no movies recorded, nor are there any known rules for the performers and thousands of other reasons which are very important factors in determining the level of performance. The level of performance being much more important than the final results. But back to reality, let's enjoy for the next several minutes before Darko makes his first move and enters into the world of calculation. Don't forget he first has to memorize 960 different objects. Good luck to you all. <laughs> 